Today is all about site plans that stand out from the crowd. And we're doing it with Rayon Design, the sponsor of today's video. So to get started, we're gonna open rayon.design. It's literally rayon.design, nothing else. The template I have in front of me, I created a little while ago and I showed you guys all on YouTube. So if you wanna go back and check out the video, you're more than welcome to. Today, we're gonna to be using this as the base, which is just the title block and a page set up. We're also gonna be using these free site analysis template assets from Rayon Design. And I'm gonna link this in the description down below so you can use this in your work as well. To get started, what we wanna do is come back into our project, hit the three little lines at the top, import. Once we've imported our site plan example, I'm gonna place it just to the side over here. Now I've grouped it all together to make it easy to move and adjust. So the first thing we wanna do is select our site plan, drag it onto our page layout, and as you can see, it's hanging over quite a little bit. So what we would need to do is actually just trim it and clean it up, which is super simple. Double click to open up the group. We'll select everything and hit trim. It's asking us which parts we want to trim. We basically want to trim everything along the bottom here and we want to trim everything at the top. Then we can click done and simply go in and clean up everything that was left over and not required. And there we go. Now we have our trimmed, cleaned up site plan ready to begin. The first thing I like to do is isolate my buildings and isolate my water bodies before I move on to landscaping. Landscaping is the biggest component which takes up most of our time and most of our energy. So we want to get the bulk of the easy stuff out of the way first. Let's start by isolating these buildings. So for example, we have the main existing building here, which has a basic hatch style. I'm gonna create a new hatch style called white buildings. I'm simply gonna make it a solid 100% hatch and I'm gonna give it a 0.5 outline. Next, I'm gonna arrange the building to the very front so we get rid of all of the extra bits and pieces behind that we don't need. After that, we can repeat that same step for the remaining buildings. There we go, we have our main buildings and areas isolated. We have one, two, which joins into three, four, and our rainwater tank at the back, which is five. After that, we wanna add some shadows, which the easiest way for me is to select all of the buildings, copy, paste them directly over the same space, change their hat style to a light shadow, north being in the top left-hand corner of our page. We're gonna have our shadows cast on the southern side for us, and then right-click, arrange, send to back. And there we go, we've got some shadows for our buildings in a matter of seconds. Personally, what I like to do is of course, go to my layers, arrange that to graphics on the top right hand side, so that whenever I need to turn on and off those graphics, I can quite easily. What's going on team? My name's David Tomich. I'm a registered architect here in Western Australia. And I thought I'd jump in the middle to let you know that Rayon Design is completely free for you to try. If you wanna have a look, there is a link down in the description below, and you can follow along this tutorial 100%. Next, we're gonna introduce some color into this dam section here. So let's zoom in, select our lowest most point of the dam, go to our styles. We're gonna create a new style here and we're gonna call it water. Simple, easy. Let's create a fill and select a color that's very neutral to us. So for instance, we'll select a dark turquoise blue, which potentially will make a little bit lighter so it stands out perfectly. Next, we're gonna adjust our water all the way over and there we go, we've got our water body created in a matter of seconds. I know for a fact there's another water body over here that isn't depicted very easily on this plan, but I'll go ahead and add that in as well. Now that we have the base completed, we can go ahead and start adding our footpaths, our trees, and our landscaping. Now, of course, there's a number of ways we can do it. We can do it in color and black and white, anything we choose. But for me personally, to stand out with a site plan, it's always going to be clean, simple, and minimalistic. So let's go ahead and have a look at our free site analysis template tools. If we start by selecting some of our trees, ideally ones with shadows, for instance, this one here is quite good. We can copy that one over, paste it into our project. It'll paste right here in the middle of our dam, and then we can go ahead and replace it over the existing trees. A quick copy and paste, and we've replaced all of the existing trees with those from the rayon template. Next, we wanna grab a couple bushes. So for instance, this bush here, let's go copy and paste in place. Now these trees, we wanna scatter across our site plan wherever we see fit. So in front of the buildings, around the buildings, around the vegetation at the dam, just in groups and clusters. So for instance, we would do something similar to this in front of this garden shed. 
a, a cluster of all sorts of different shrubs, making sure we scale, rotate and adjust so it isn't the same repetitive motion throughout the project. We want to use a different style of bush, so for example this one over here near the water. And finally a hedging like this curved bush on the bottom right hand side for areas around our water tanks and services. And there we go, now that we have our primary landscaping elements in, we can start working on our footpaths and our car park. What I like to do with my footpaths and car parking is isolate it in a dark colour, create it and then invert everything. So my footpaths remain white and my ground ends up grey. So let's start. We'll take our first point, we'll change our colour. Let's just go to a darker hatch. So this entire section here on the left hand side is going to be our entry point with some staff parking at the rear. If we start at the rear because it's simple, we can click our way through. So now that we have our dark paths drawn in, we can isolate them once again, invert them to a simple white hatch and give them a very thin light grey border. With our footpaths in place and converted to a white fill, obviously they don't stand out at all. So what we need to do is actually introduce a darker base layer to our entire model. Now we can do that in two ways. We can go and actually cut around our entire site plan or we can do it on the page itself. For me personally, I'm simply just going to do it on the page itself. Now that we have our background in and we have our footpaths isolated and our roads isolated, we need to add a few extra items. So for instance, our car parking, our roundabouts and some graphic indicators like cars and people to know exactly what's going on here. So let's go back to our site analysis. We'll grab this little P for parking. We're going to paste that right here in the middle, increase the size and repeat over here on the staff car parking. Next, if we have an Acrod bay or a disabled bay, we can go ahead and add that up the top. Use our vehicular access line to create a flow diagram. We can adjust that color, obviously, if we don't want it to be purple, we might want it to be black, we might want it to be dark gray, we might want it to be blue, whatever we want, we can adjust that. So for me, I'd probably have it as a nice orange, and then I could also copy and paste my pedestrian access line into our project so that we have our vehicular access and we have our pedestrian access annotated relatively easily and quickly. Now for me, that green does not stand out. We'll go ahead and change that color. Let's change it to a nice blue. There we go, we have our pedestrian, we have our vehicle, we have two things ready to go. Come back into our site plan, we can copy and paste some of our people. So for instance, if I was to copy this cyclist, a couple of people walking with their dog and some umbrellas, bits and pieces, we can paste them into our project, rotate them in, drag and drop them into appropriate places. Then of course we could add some more CAD blocks. So if you go to my blocks, go to libraries, scroll down to transport, find a family car, drag and drop that little car into our design. We can then have some cars on our annotated animation line. Last but not least, to finish this off, we want to introduce some text to our buildings so that everything is clear and visible. So down the bottom, we just simply come to text and there we go, our site plan is nearly complete. If we wanted to go back in and add a couple of extra elements like wind direction, solar direction, or potentially our site boundaries, we could. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, that showcases everything you need to know of how to create the perfect site plan in Rayon Design. Anyway, that is all for me team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Rayon Design tutorial. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and like always, I'll see you next week.